if I were to tell you this story, you'd say, you're a liar. Seriously, it, you can't make it up. You really cannot make it up. It's as simple as that. A crowd estimated at a half million people gathered today in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Father Patrick Payton drew the largest crowd in the history of San Francisco. I'd like to speak to you about a remarkable man, Father Patrick Payton. Father Patrick Payton. Patrick Payton. Father Patrick Payton. Father Patrick Payton. I know a man who has dedicated his life to teaching others what prayer can do. People try to describe Father Payton, and it's almost like trying to carry water in your hands. It slides through. It was almost unbelievable. You'll be looking around, and all these people are here to listen to him. The energy level was like somebody who was superhuman. You might be saying with your voice, Hail Mary, full of grace, but your heart is telling God just what I said. Dear God, I love you. People would be in tears listening to him because he had such a powerful voice. It was just unreal to think that a young boy from the parish was mingling with all the film stars. He never came back with an American accent. He was always Irish. He was capable of anything, apparently. We didn't know it at the time. I want to talk to you about my dear friend and mentor, Father Patrick Payton. He was a little bit of a brat when he was a teenager. You know, he was no saint, let me tell you. I'm for God, for peace, for justice, mercy, truth, love. He might have gotten knocked down, but he always got up. I'm for stronger homes and loftier lives and the better use of time. It was uncanny now, the way that people reacted to his voice. It surely was coming from God. But first of all, I'm for prayer, family prayer. The family that prays together stays together. <laughs> 